Well, viewers, wherever you are, if you are just joining, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Chikon TV Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kone, and this morning I'm here live in Electoral District number 12, Monserrado County, Republic of Liberia, where Representative Aspirant Jared K. Yokpo and his team have come this morning to donate over 40 armchair to the P. Coley High School situated Sufajo community. And today, Jericho Yoko is represented by his beautiful wife, Teresa Yoko, who arrived fourth night ago from the United States of America. And she is here this morning on behalf of her husband to make this presentation of over 40 armchair to the P. Coley High School situated district number 12, Monserrado County, specifically the Sufacho community. So if you are just joining, welcome. This is Shkong TV, Liberia. My name is Seku Aminata Kone, reporting this morning live from Electoral District number 12, Monserrado County. So as we approach the most talk about 2023 representative and general election, residents of District number 12, Monserrado County have cried that their district is in a complete state of despondency. They are hard pain when they hear the cry of young people dying from illnesses that could be killed with just thousands of Liberian dollars. According to most of them, the choice they made in 2017 did not go the way they thought and things seemed difficult by the day within the district. Okay. It will interest you to know that more than 75% of the residents within electoral district number two among Sorado County are lack of basic and social services half of whom reside in the biggest community, that is the Chikizofache community within the district. With this mention, there are multiples of representative aspirants who want to unseat the current representative, Dr. Josh B. Samba, who got elected in 2017 with over 7,400 votes. Now, let's listen to the delegate representing Representative Aspirant Jerry K. Yoko. Welcome to Scrum TV Liberia. Please share this live video as we bring you to the logical conclusion. It was around a July 24. And uh, the administration of the people of the first of the world this year, they've given the Honorable Jerry K. Yoko to attend the graduation of the Kingdom Garden section. And now, Jerry K. Yoko, even though he was busy, when he said for the process for him, for oh, yeah. and if we might, give you a share. One of oh, the, the members of the field of Jerry K. Yoko, yeah, 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 Samuel Jara, when the school raised the concern of their needs, the school raised the concern of their needs. They said they need cement and they need some armchairs to accommodate students of this great institution. Honorable Yoko is quoted the first soldier in front of Samuel Jara to make a promise, a pledge, not a pledge that will not be fulfilled, but will not be fulfilled, of Caleb Jaffa Simon, which was delivered a few months back, and says the armchairs. And today, we are here to do the presentation of those armchairs, we are right here. So, I'm Thomas Tamabono, the vice chair for operation, and I would like to call on the project director who will actually Mr. present the armchairs that were constructed to Honorable Jerry K. Yoko to Mrs. Yoko and take a brief remark from the chairman before turning this chair over to the institution. So, Mr. Wardlow, you are welcome. Yes, no we like to say, uh, my colleague has said uh, everything concerning how it started, how it came about. Uh, these are materials that were produced from one of the vendors. These are our power policies. And it cost around $1,200, uh, 50 pieces, 60 uh, 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 in number. And I would like to say, Mr. Yabo is not some 
will go to an event and promise and don't fulfill. Today is one of the promises that he has made and we will continue to be around here. The people, the administration, do not hesitate to call and talk to you. Whenever you can need, give us the call and give us the call. So, Honorable Chairman, we will kindly come to the podium and do the presentation to the administration. Thank you. This is the chairman of Friends of Director Yakwa. We are able to send the representative. Additionally, we are here to represent the leader, the chair, the chair, and the official minister. The chair will be given to you after what you did in the program. We did give a representation and a discussion of something. Why do we request the new institution? Fund of the parties. Sister Kathy. So this is the wealth of Jericho Yapa, Teresa Yapa, who will officially do the presentation on behalf of our husband. Yapaya! Yapaya! This is the wealth of Jericho Yapa, Representative Aspara, District No. 12, Montserrat County. In the project, we have come to present the tears, so we cannot do that as usual. The majority in this country, I think everything that we can do is to do the presentation. So you are here today to represent me. So if you can be here, then we will shallow me. So I will be telling the chair over to you, and then subsequently be turned over to the administration. Thank you. These are the chairs and committees that we have to do. for being here today. I'm so happy to be here because when I see this community, when I see young children, it reminds me of my own life. It reminds me of living here and, and appreciating the people who gave to my life to make me who I am. Today I have my father here, Mr. Samuel Kamara. I have my uncle Sherry and Mama E. Teresa Yepa. She is the wife of Representative Aspirant Jerry K. Yepa from District No. 12, Monksawada County, Republic of Labu. Thank you very much, but I told my wife to come here and I was telling her. Thank you very much. 
I just want to say that I will allow you to talk about this something ready. Um, this, this is one of my challenges, particularly for the children. Well, nowadays, particularly for a child, it's almost a thing that we are trying to get children for 600 children. But it's so frustrating and when I call my brother, when I call each other brother and sister, when I call him, he was quick to come to the house. Whether I want to appreciate what he's doing for Liberia, what he's doing for Sheep Factory, and what he's doing for this Factory. This is what I really want them to be around. That even though we might get a hand to do one of the things, but they are always there when I call the country. I want to thank them, thank you for your love. I want to tell my face in love. Thank you very much. What you have done. In one day, with eyes of faith, I'm celebrating, I'm crying, I'm jumping, I'm dancing, I know what I need to get. Thank you very much. And to everyone of you that are making my brother to, to be moved better, better in the country. Yeah, I appreciate everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we are the administration. We take the chair. We have to leave the music for the internal purpose. ไม่ใช่เราดีเว้ยไม่ใช่เราเออโอเคสุดท้ายเราก็เลยชื่อว่าเป็นทางที่เราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเ
who want to come to uh, and, and meet their leaders. But due to one or two circumstances, we 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 have the project in store. But I can assure the resident and the daughters that we are doing everything possible to have that project fulfilled. As Mr. Yoba, who has always wanted to see development, mm -hmm. whenever he promised, he can deliver. So finally, from my end, how far is the project when it comes to the Real View community? Since the groundbreaking ceremony, there have been a series of concerns. The project has not yet started. How far is the issue of the Real View community project? Last week, we had a meeting with the leaders. We met with those that have joining properties. The reason why we decided to do it like that, as I previously stated, the issue with the shoes factory project, it, it has one or two issues that we needed to have look at, but we slip and we acknowledge our errors. That is the reason why we decided to hold a meeting with the leadership of uh, Riverview and we all brainstorm. We are putting the legal document together to have uh, uh, everyone uh, uh, sign onto that agreement okay. so as to start the project soon. So finally, do you have any analysis? Well, uh, today is a unique day. The CEO's wife will lead the interrush to viral projects, okay. visiting her people, and listen to their needs. Okay. So uh, we want to say thanks to you all, the media team, for also turning in. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was the voice of the project coordinator. Now we'll be speaking shortly to the first lady of Representative Aspirant, Jerry K. Yoko. Madam Teresa. Madam, good morning and welcome to the press. Thank you for having me. Welcome back to Liberia. Thank you. Thank How do you feel this morning? I mean, I'm, I'm elated. I'm very, very happy. Mm. And coming to Liberia and being here on a school campus is, it takes me back to my own childhood. Okay. This is the foundation of Liberia. This is the future of Liberia. So coming to meet these children and taking a step, a step. You know, when you when you going to take a journey, it begins with a step. This is just a step. This is just the beginning. And Jerry Yaba, this community will not be able to lift itself if we don't come together. We have to unite. We have to have a purpose. We have to dream big. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in the future. Because today we live in. We are the ones who the children are looking at. What are we willing to give to our community? To help our community. And I will say to you, like I always been told you this morning, the only thing you can give for me and never take from you is knowledge. So coming to the school today to be part of this case process of learning is very, very touching to me. It means a lot to me because I know when I was growing up, somebody to make some kind of donation contributed to my life. And me coming here on behalf of my husband and my family, I know you have spent quite a week in Liberia and you have heard a lot of good news about your husband's contribution to humanity. How do you feel as his wife? You know the saying behind every strong man that's a woman. Right? We all have mothers. We are African. We are African. Our fathers provide and our mothers nurture. So, me coming here to be a representative of my husband, it's not just for him, it's for the community. So, I'm standing like every mother in Liberia. I'm standing like every wife in Liberia. When your husband stand, you stand by him. So, I'm very honored. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity and for the community to give my husband the opportunity to reach out to you, to do something. You know, we all go up and have a vision and our vision is that Liberia will go to the next place. And if we don't start with the little ones, with the children, then Liberia will not be. Today where Liberia is, is because somebody invested in the child's life. Those people who are leaders, the people invested in the 
wives as children. So today, coming here and representing my husband as a, at a school, we miss a whole lot. Just hard to benefit them from people to nation and people put work to work. So as you depart Labura in a few days, what will be your engagement with residents of District No. 12 Monserrata County? Professionally, I'm a healthcare provider, okay. and my plan and my dream is to come to my people. Like I've been talking to people here in the community, there's a need. There's a need to reach out. There's a need to educate our people, and I believe by providing the necessary healthcare education, we will make a difference. For you to be able to take care of your patient, for me to take care of my patient, I have to educate them. They have to have the understanding of how the body works. So I believe in my own capacity as a healthcare provider, I am willing to come to teach. And I did talk to one of the, the uh, uh, mothers around here. She has a church and she does deliver babies. And I said to her, I'm willing to teach. They say CPR so when somebody has a situation where somebody becomes unresponsive, when the baby is delivering, understand how to take care of themselves, it gives them the power, it makes them, it allows them to ask the appropriate question to understand what they need for themselves. So my role here and my desire is to come back to this community, not only this community of Liberia a lot, to be able to educate our people on how to take care of themselves. Those basic things, those preventable things. We see a lot of people that have blood pressure, a lot of people got diabetes. Simple things we need to understand. If somebody fell down here today, what do you do? The first thing somebody would do would go and call, or go call a person, or bring cold water and place it on the person, or put alcohol in the person. Those things will not save life. So we want to come here and be able to treat people like this. Basic skill, basic skill that will help you to save life. So finally, we are approaching 2023 election and your husband will be one of the candidates to participate. Many Liberians are discouraged when it comes to political participation on grounds that previous leaders have been failing them. What is your message to residents of this district when it comes to participating in election comes 2023? I will say to you, like everywhere in the world, if you, are, if you live in a community, you have to fully participate in politics. Because who you nominate, the people that you choose as representative of your community will make decisions up there that will affect you. So I will say to you, you have to stand behind somebody who is in your best interest. I'm not only saying it because of my husband. This man grew up in this community and even before the community asked him to go to be the representative, he had been helping the community. Not at the higher level, but at the grassroots. You see here, look here, go around. Who do you see? You don't see old people here. You see the youth. This is the future. You see the youth. So, my word to us Liberians, don't be, don't stand back. Don't stand back. Do something. Don't ask, what a man coming do for us? What are you doing for your community? For a community to stand, I said before, for the broom to sweep, you have to tie it. The strongest part of the broom is where you stand together. So for the community to stand, for us to rise as a nation, it starts with our family, and it comes into the community. Then it dispersed to the nation. So we have to come together with one purpose, and the purpose is, when you see somebody, you help somebody. When you see somebody, you help somebody. Don't ask what the person can do for you physically, but how can I contribute to a cause? So the challenge is not to me, but to every one of us. What are we willing to do to live our community? What are we willing to do to live our nation like Europe? What are we willing to do? So it goes back to you. What am I going to do? What I will do is to hold each one of you hands. We will hold hands together. Let's go, let's hold hands. Come on, let's do this. We will hold hands together. 
This is a word of As one people, people, as one people who will move this community and will tell people that if this Tatuab can do it, Liberia can do it. Yes. So we will come together as one people in this Tatuab. This this Tatuab! Last day, um, Mr. Yabba, before we take leave of you, is there anything you would like to say that you didn't say before we take leave of you? I would just want to say thank you to everyone who took off the business schedule to come here. I know it's not easy for people to do what to do and come here. I say thank you. We appreciate your support. And it's not just for us, it's for the community. You guys have to stand together as a community. It does. If there's, if there's a pothole on the road, don't wait for somebody to do it. Find a rock. Each one bring a stone and will cover up that pothole. So let's do this as a community. Let's do this as a people. We are all Liberians. If we don't start it in our community, we're not going to do that. Thank you very Thank you much. Very that was the voice of the web of Representative Aspirant Jerry K. Yopa making a brief remark with members of the press after presenting 60 armchair to the people. Ask you. Many thanks to all of you for following, and this is from TV Labro. My name is Seko Aminata Kone. Goodbye for my.